after all. So if you ever wanted to try Emacs, it's actually fairly simple. Emacs is uh, a text editor, but it's so much more than a text editor. Often it's like you can use it as a document writer. You can use it as uh, like an email client. Uh, like you can even use it as a desktop. So without wasting much of our time, let's install Emacs. So for me, I'm on Void Linux. So sudo xpps dash install dash capital S Emacs for uh, installing Emacs on void. So if you are on Arch, you can install that by using sudo pacman dash S Emacs. If you are on uh, something like Ubuntu, you can do apt install apt install Emacs. So and if you are on OpenSUSE, uh, you can do zipper dash uh, like zipper space install emacs and for something like fedora you can do dnf install emacs so you can install emacs with that so i've already installed emacs for my system so you can open up emacs in multiple ways emacs have a graphical user interface or you can open up emacs in your terminal in order for you to open up Emacs in your terminal, you just do Emacs dash NW for no window. So it will open up Emacs like this. So this is like the default welcome page of Emacs. So if you want to navigate, you can use your arrow keys if you want. It will work. Or if you want to go to the previous line, you hit Ctrl and P. If you want to go to next line, you just hit Ctrl N. If you want to go to previous character, you do a Ctrl B for backwards and Ctrl F for forward. So either you can use those or you can use the arrow keys, whichever you prefer. Then if you want to like switch a buffer, so this is called a buffer. So if you want to switch this to a new one, you just hit Ctrl X and B. Here you start the name of the, like you just type the name of the buffer. So if you have some buffers open already, if you hit tab, it's going to give you like possible buffers available. So if you don't have anything open, you can just create new like uh, text or something like document. So it will open up a new buffer for you. Now if you do a control X and B and a tab, you can see we have, if you want to go to scratch, you just type scratch and go there. So this is a scratch buffer. If you want to navigate to your old documents buffer, control X, B and you just type document. So it will open up that buffer. Then if you do a control X and control C, it will exit Emacs. So every time we open up Emacs, we are going to get this welcome message. So if you don't want that, you can configure Emacs in a way like to avoid displaying this. Before that, I would like to show you how you can copy text and paste. So if you want to select something, you just use shift, use your shift and arrow keys. You can select the text you want. So if you want to copy this, all you have to do is Alt and W. So Alt and W will uh, copy your text. So let's switch back to new buffer. Control X and B to open up a new buffer. So here we are going to name this buffer as a uh, text. Then if you want to paste that, you can do a Control Y. So it will paste whichever text you have copied. So if you do that, it will copy like paste uh, multiple times. So if you want to cut something, you can use shift and arrow keys to select whichever you want to cut. Then if you do a control W, it's going to cut. Then if you do a control like uh, P, like control Y again, it's going to paste. So that's kind of like the way you use copy and paste in Emacs. So basically paste 
equals uh, control plus y y is for yank then cut is uh, control plus w and the copy is alt so alt is considered as um, meta key so alt plus w will copy selected text for selection you can do a shift and arrow keys like this then if you want to undo something you hit control and forward slash so that will undo whatever you have done now let's exit out of emacs using control x control c if we open up emacs we have this uh, welcome message so every time we open up this welcome message we don't want to see that so we can remove that by adding some configuration to emacs init file so if you do a control x and control f it's going to open up direct or directory editor for emacs so here you can find file so either you can go like uh, this if you hit enter it will open up as a file browser so you can go like this so here if you go down you have this emacs.d directory you can go inside that and have this init.el file uh, usually you will not have this init.el file you have to create one by yourself Next one. Uh, so if I want to kill this window all I have to do is control X K it will kill the buffer so if I hit enter it will kill the current buffer again if I want to kill this control X K so now we are back in our welcome screen so let's put something in our configuration to remove this uh, uh, menu bar and uh, this welcome text next time when we open up emacs so control x control f for direct here we are going to type dot emacs and a tab so it will auto complete to dot emacs dot d and there we are going to create a file in it dot el el for e list so here we are going to create some configuration so semicolon if you put two semicolon it will be considered as comments so here we can type a comment like uh, remove and do something like this and after that you can add the configuration for removing so the way you do this is you open up a bracket and inside the bracket you type set q inhibitor no inhibit and dash startup dash message and a space and we can specify t so this is going to remove our startup message from our emacs so we if we hit control x and s it's going to ask us whether we need to save this file we hit y to save this file control x control c to exit out of emacs and if we open up emacs again we are not going to get the welcome screen again so that's removed control x control f for direct again dot emacs d inside dot emacs d in it dot el so if you want to remove the menu bar you just add remove menu bar comment like if you want to keep comments like it will help you to identify which is which for your emacs and you can specify the menu bar mode minus one inside these brackets and if you do a control x and s to save the file and control x control c exit out of emacs and if you open up emacs again you can see we don't have the menu bar so that's how you like do basic customization for emacs so in the next video i would like to show you how you can use the package management system in emacs so i hope this one was helpful i hope you all have a wonderful day